here we are on the home page. We've made our button uh, that will take us to the fountains page. So what we want to do now is go and actually add some content to the fountains page. So, you know, when you're in development mode in the editor, buttons don't work to take you to pages, right? Buttons, when you click on them, allow you to modify the button itself as opposed to taking you to the page like it would once the website's published. So to go to new pages, you're going to have to come up here to the site menu palette and you're going to have to select fountains. And you can see it's taken us there, our button's gone. We still have our header. If we scroll the page, the header is there, it's clear, we've got our image behind it. So, we want to get rid of this image and we want to put images of fountains because that's what the people are expecting when they go to this area. So first, let's change the page background and we will simply go for we could go for a general gray you could go for what? you could go for a light green uh, you could go for a gradient you know they give you any number of choices here we just need to select one that is appropriate for our pond images and sketch lines eh, I don't think so no all these are just a little too complex let's just go for the blue to cream gradient because it kind of mimics the background that we had before where it's light at the bottom and kind of dark at the top and you have the warm tones and then you have the green tones and we can see that our light gray name does show up well on there so that should work just fine so now we got to put something in here we got ourselves a new background let's uh, add some photos we're gonna put a gallery not just a single image but a gallery we want multiple images and they will let you hand place these but there's no reason to because they've got them set up in a standard grid in a thumbnail where you've got a big picture and then small thumbnails at the bottom uh, they have got you know tiled shapes they've got three-part shapes that scroll they have got you know just about everything you can think of so there's no good reason to um, you know to do your own unless you just have something specific that you really want because it is considerably more complex let's go for the thumbnail pro gallery here so that's where our gallery is going to be right now it's got a bunch of default pictures in it and we don't want those there so we're going to go to manage media And it shows us, here are the pictures that we have loaded here. 1 through 13. Let's just get rid of some of them to begin with. So, hover over it, a little trash can in the corner, click on that. And we're not going to spend too much time on this gallery. We'll delete it down to maybe about 3 or 4 pictures. And then that will be sufficient for the demonstration. So now it's got four pictures in there. Uh, we don't want these pictures because they're not ours. They're placeholders, so we want to add media. We want to add an image. And it will let us, once again, pull these things from our library. Right now, the only thing in our library is our pond surface image that we use for the home page. So we're going to want to add some material to it. So we're going to upload media up here in the corner. And let's go to some more pond images. Fountains in particular. Uh, let's go for this tall fountain, JPEG. And you can upload multiples. So you click on one, and then what you'll want to do is hold down the shift key and click on another one and then perhaps we will go for this one and that one so we got our four and we're going to let them upload so now we've got four images that we can 
add to this page and that one is selected right now so let's go ahead and add it now we can also simply replace images instead of going and you know adding an image and then deleting this other so I can click on this one and click on that one and it'll give me replace image so what I want, I want to replace that with I will select this one and add it to the page and now that other image is gone So this is the quicker way to uh, be rid of those stock images and then we'll simply delete this one so now we have a gallery that only has the actual images that we want we'll click done and those will show up in that gallery and we can change the size of the gallery by grabbing these corners now we can move it over here we can move it down here we probably don't want it to get up into our header we can take it right to those edges and so now whenever you come to this page what you'll see is our header with our name we've got our gradient background close up here Want to look at that click on it now again the gallery doesn't work same way as buttons don't work when we are in the development mode because whenever you click on the gallery instead of changing it what it wants you to do is tell it what to do as opposed to simply working like a gallery so we will we will pull that up uh, a little bit later but now we have a place to go and so we can go back home and we can add another button or we can change out the background we can do any number of things at this point we could have eventually 50 pages down through here we can have sub pages because we can go to the fountains page and we could add a button here that links to a third page like perhaps um, you know we just wanted a whole page for each of these fountains with multiple photographs or a video then we could add a button in here with a thumbnail image that takes us to that and then we would have a sub page just for that particular fountain we're not going to actually do that right now uh, in fact I'm going to come back and show you how to incorporate some video in here uh, if that you know fits your particular needs and in this case I think it will work pretty well